guys, it is Clary Berry here. I am just hanging out, having a rare moment of like quiet, just a short little moment here of quiet and uh, alone time before I'm going to go on with the rest of my day. Um, my parents are making chili, so I'll bring my bananas over there or something. <laughs> um, yeah, still kind of doing the cheating on the weekend things, and you know, I, it, it is what it is. It could be better, it should be better, it will be better, but I'm not going to beat myself up. I don't believe in that. I'm going to say it every single time. Beating myself up is only going to make it worse and probably happen more often. So, you know, when you're making changes though, you know, you want to do it in your routine. You want to make it part of your routine and I think a lot of people, when they're making changes, whether it be in their diet or they're getting all the chemicals out of their house and moving on to like a, you know, less like a safe, more non-toxic sort of system of cleaning or whatever your changes are that you're doing, you know, adding exercise program, like you're going to meet with some resistance. You're going to have to figure things out. You're going to have to, if it is actually going to be something that becomes a real habit for you, you know, you're going to have to set some other things aside. The other things aren't going to want to go to the side. There's going to be a little resistance and just don't be scared of that. And I think a lot of people like once they encounter any resistance at all, they just want to go back to the way things were. They're in their comfort zone. They don't have to, you know, feel awkward at all. And, you know, sometimes we need that awkward awkwardness. Sometimes we need that resistance um, or else everything's just going to stay the same. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I mean, I love this program. I believe in it with all my heart. I can't say I've never had my doubts. I have had my doubts. I work through them. I learn through them, research, you know, read. But um, it, it, the practicality part is always going to be, you know, because we're here in the real world, you know. So that's kind of what I've been working on now. And I told you guys in the last video, I'm done with the hummus. I'm done with splurging on crackers. Oh, well, these aren't that bad. No, we're done. We're not even doing a whole lot of bread anymore. And I'm going to try to keep the peanut butter low. <laughs> that was one thing. And, um, you know, just different things like that. So basically the only things that I'm trying to keep are basically on plan. Um, the, the tortilla chips that I have, guiltless gourmet tortilla chips, those are going to stay only partially. That's going to be like a splurge item. And I'm going to have allowed splurges on the weekend. Basically, my plan, how I want to kind of lay it out to you guys, is that, you know, I'm doing my thing, do, still doing my raw till four plan. And basically, what I'm going to do is probably have like some sort of a, just a regular fruit meal for a little breakfast. And my meals are about 500 calories. Um, maybe try to stick to about 400 calories. And so my idea, well, let me go back and tell you the background first on this. Um, my idea is to eat every hour or eat every two hours. And this is not a guideline that I'm going to necessarily partake to because I really do believe this is hard to explain. I really do believe in eating when you feel like it. And so a lot of times I'll eat, you know, maybe an hour after I wake up. Sometimes I won't eat for a few hours because that's what I've done. A lot of times it's what I always used to do. So my background is, is to really just kind of skip breakfast, drink coffee, and then eat regularly throughout the day, keep the calories low enough. And I know I said in the last video too, the calorie restriction, even though you know that it's not right, my subconscious or my, you know, when I get weak or undercarbed or whatever it is, like I start to think, okay, well, I better just restrict my calories a little bit. And I need a tool to counteract that. So back in the day when I was regular eater, you know, I would just do, okay, aim for nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And, you know, I could aim for an arbitrary number, you know, try to do this or this. But again, I need to leave some leeway. I'm very like feeling person. I go by my feelings. If I feel like I want to eat something, you know, I'm going to eat it. So, but I really believe in this whole idea that we need to stay carved up in order to, you know, carved up on fruit in order to 
not cheat. That's where my cheats come in. I had these very, I had, you know, these very easy to, you know, prepare, no preparation, out of the box, whatever it was, bread or crackers or tortillas. And um, sometimes just by habit or by addiction or by whatever reason, I'm just going for those instead of the fruit. Maybe I've already had a lot of fruit today and I want something savory, but I don't even want to prepare it. So getting those out of the house is one thing, but also just having an idea. The idea, like I said, is that I'm going to eat every hour or at least from eight in the morning to eight at night, I'm going to have this idea in my head that I need to be hitting a certain number of calories. And it's going to be very easy because at eight o'clock, basically, like I said, 200 calories an hour. So like I said, I, I'm not going to be eating every single hour on the hour, but I may, you know, I may decide that I like to do that. I may decide that two bananas an hour is awesome, but this way I feel like it's an even added bonus because your sugar levels, you know, are not going to go very much. And I used to do this when I was just counting calories. I mean, I would literally eat people that I was crazy that I would talk to about this. Like, well, I can't do that. I can't eat every two hours, you know, and I'm lucky that I am, that I'm able to eat. I can eat and, you know teach or whatever. I don't have to take a break and, you know, go eat. I can just shove it in whenever I want to. I'm my own boss. That's the beauty of being able to do that. But, um, like I said, I may not do it. I may do 400 calories every two hours, but the main idea is that it's in my head. Usually come about 11 o'clock. I would be thinking, Oh yeah, I've had my 500 calories. I'm pretty full. Like I'll just wait a little bit longer, blah, blah, blah. With this, there's even going to be less, I think, of me eating bigger meals. I think I'm going to tone it down a little bit, stay 400 every two hours or 200 every hour because it's fun. I like to eat. I like to eat often. And I like that variety. So as soon as I'm done eating, you know, usually as soon as I'm done eating something, I really get my fill. Like I want to eat something else, you know, and that was my problem with the big smoothies. I'd make 10 banana smoothie. I'd be ready for something else by the time I got to like the 600th calorie of that drink. So this is just something that I feel like is going to work for me. And there's a couple different parts of it too. Um, not only just eating every hour or eating every two hours, smaller meals works for me. Um, but like I said, just being able to think, okay, well it's already 11 o'clock. So by now I should have, you know, however many calories, you know, oh gosh, it's four o'clock and I've only had, you know, two meals worth. Like it's just easy. It's easy addition, mental, you know, it's something that is, um, already starting to work for me a little bit better. And the smaller meals made a huge difference. I mean, I tried to do big smoothies and maybe someday I will be able to, but you know, and I thought, Oh, I can eat a lot, you know, so I'll do this, but it just wasn't working for me. So I'm going to do this. And so, like I said, I'm going to start off the day, probably like a regular, just a fruit mono meal. I've been doing a lot of clementines lately or halos, but I think as, um, summer goes on, it'll be more melon for breakfast because we're supposed to do melon in the morning. Um, cause it just goes through your system so fast with the high water content. And so I'll do either melons or peaches or something like that. Um, and then I'm really, you know, just really obsessed with my banana, banana berry. I call it cocoa, nana berry, um, mixture. I can do a smoothie. I can do pudding. I can do ice cream. However you want to do it. I just eat it like, I guess that would be kind of a duo meal or something like that, um, depending on how many different types of berries are in there. But, um, <clears throat> you know, it's nice. I drink some shakes, drink some smoothies, um, eat some ice cream. I love it. Carob, bananas, berries. That's about two, going to be two meals. So probably I'll have my first meal about eight o'clock, have my second meal about 10, third meal about noon or so. And then after that, I'm gonna, I usually want to switch over to salad. So I found that out about myself. I am going to go ahead and have, you know, maybe a two o'clock meal of just mango, salsa, and salad. So my salsa is very, very watered down, not only with, you know, tomatoes, just no salt added, diced tomatoes from a can, organic, putting those in with, you know, put, adding a little bit of extra water is great adding even maybe sometimes a little bit of just tomato sauce or now the mangoes also additionally help to kind of balance it out with the salt because the main problem was the salt with the salsa. 
So I've got that figured out. The hummus is gone. We don't need hummus because mangoes just really do the deal for me. So going on to, that would be about what, two o'clock. So around four o'clock, I usually do like to be eating again and I need to eat because my evenings are usually very busy. So I need to really focus on eating there. And what I'll probably do is have the mango salad again um, and either add rice. So it's more like a mango rice over salad bowl type of thing, like a rice, like you would maybe get a chipotle just, and I, um, plan to change up the salad on a daily basis to go with the meals. So basically I will be, um, cooking, sort of cooking for my kids every day, but, um, I'm maybe not going to be eating all of the rest of the, the, foods that are cooked. And I may or may not, you know, this is going to be something for me to ease into it. Something for me to be able to say, okay, well, I really feel like potatoes today. I'm going to go ahead and eat these potatoes that I made for dinner, you know, maybe instead of that second salad or whatever. Um, and I have a plan. I've, if, for those of you who have been watching a lot of my videos, you might know that I tend to love alliterations and I love to try to eat something that, you know, um, has an alliteration with the day. It's just easy. It's fun. The kids get into it. So, and I've been back and forth with what I do, but I'm my current plan here and is um, Monday will be Mongolian. So like I said, maybe I'll have that salad. And then if I feel like a soup, I'll eat this noodle soup. It'll have veggies. It's just rice, um, rice pasta, lots of water, very low fat, very much on plan with the raw till four. Um, but if I feel like just doing my, um, salad, I'll just stick to my salad. I'll just be completely raw that day. And, um, that's exciting for me to be able to just have this little, little teeny little barrier, little one little meal between, you know, cause with the hummus, I was, it's not, it's not raw, you know, it's not even close. So I was really cheating more. And now I feel like, and I have had last week, I had one raw day and I really enjoyed it and I really liked it. it felt great the next day. So you know, I may find that I end up, and especially during the summer, I can see myself in the winter doing more raw till four. And then in the summer, just skipping that meal. And I can actually see myself because I'm still going to be working and I have the boys home. So I can really see myself letting them just eat more raw in the summer too. I mean, why not? They're going to feel great. It's going to be awesome. So, you know, and I may decide to just eat some spring rolls, you know, bake those on the side, maybe some dumplings, just a little bit here and there, rather than a great big meal, trying to do a bunch of tortillas and a bunch of pastas and a bunch of stuff like that. And because I would find like I would make a big meal of potatoes and then like we wouldn't eat them all because I would think we would need so much carbs and we wouldn't eat them all. And then I'd have leftovers and it would mess up my day and try to eat way too much cooked. And so this is just going to be easier to have more of it raw. So Tuesday, so Mon Monday is Mongolian Monday, noodle soup. I'm really um, going to be obsessed with my tamale pies. I love the idea. I love the flavor. I love the taste. The boys really, I just bought one of the little Amy's ones and they were asking me for it all the time. I'm like, no, it's fine. I was being really selfish, but I had to try it. So I know that it was good. But anyway, I got Amazon subscribe and save big old, um, 25 pounder of cornmeal, organic cornmeal, saving so much money on this diet, on this plan. I don't care what people say. You don't have to, um, you know, break the bank to go, you know, raw till four. So tamale pie, you know, basically throw some peppers and maybe beans, maybe just tomatoes, you know, squash, whatever we feel like in there, um, throw it in there and then cover it with the cornmeal. And it's amazing. You don't need cheese. You don't need anything. So good. Or we may splurge and do a taco salad with our little guiltless gourmet chips that are baked and low fat and no salt at all. So, and then I may have some Spanish rice. I mean, depending on the day, we can switch it up. So it's not the exact same thing. You can have different sides, et cetera. And a lot of times, you know, this side is just going to be salad. Like Wild West Wednesday is basically going to usually be like a potato, either like a baked potato bar sort of thing where they can top it like fajita veggies, um, different things, or, um, just do like a skillet, like almost do like fries or something or tater tots or just hash browns. Um, like, you know, like they do at Denny's, you know, just cover it with everything. And, and, um, 
or maybe do like some sandwiches if we feel like splurging like the splurge meal once a month could be like actual bread and sandwiches and fries you know homemade baked fries and stuff like that Thursday is uh, ethnic ethnic Thursday and this is going to be like a tie wrap or probably not a wrap probably and I may do the wraps with the collards but it'll probably just we'll try to go more raw these days where we're having like a rice based meal like um like Thursdays just do basically for everybody the salad bowl with a little bit of rice and then some Thai you know sauce and spring rolls maybe or dumplings something like that so Fiesta Friday seems applicable. We'll do the tamale pie again, probably, or maybe taco salad. We may do the taco salad on Friday um, just so we can have chips and salsa. Uh, might have our avocado that day, get some corn going on, and um, maybe even do, like, if we feel like it, still get the, fit, uh, the tortillas, and I have those fun little tortilla um, taco salad makers. So bake those in with, you know, a big corn salad, just something really good or kebabs. And then a lot of times I haven't been having the kids on the weekends anymore. I've been, um, getting them taken from me, um, sharing them, you know, but, uh, I, my plan, if the kids are here, you know, I don't usually cook as much or eat as much or anything. Whenever the kids aren't here, I'm just not here. Sometimes I'll go out, but I'll do sushi Saturday and Sunday. Basically during the daytime, we'll have some sort of Chinese, you know, order a little bit of Chinese, make our own rice, keep the veggies around, you know, just do some leftovers for the lunch um, is the plan. And then slicey Saturday, we will either make our own pizza um, probably from the um, Bob's Red Mill or something similar to that. Um, the mix, just instead of putting oil in it, just put some applesauce in it. Um, not the best, but it's, you know, for the weekend, it's it's fine. And this will be more of our big, bulky cooked meals. Um, well, we may go even to the pizza company. I get a really good, I just take their Italian um, basically their Italian sandwich, tell them to hold all the meat and the cheese and any extra oil, just put all the good stuff on there. Their vinaigrette's amazing. And they put all stack of, you know, vegetables on there and it's great. So we'll do that. Or, you know, we just go to pizza street, um, the buffets and get the, um, I just have them make a delicious, no cheese veggie pizza and it's amazing like you can get so carved up on that and it's probably a lot of fat but I feel like again in transition I'm not going to worry about every single little day I can have a cheat day and I feel like when you have these planned out cheat days and you're not trying to be so completely perfect then when you do cheat you're not cheating as much when I cheat now I'm cheating you know mostly with my Gilda's gourmet tortilla chips, you know, which are great. They're pretty much on plan. So again, plan for yourself to cheat a little bit, allow for yourself to cheat a little bit. I sometimes find that's better. So, and then the last day, Sugo Sunday, my kids love pasta. So we'll do our no salt added um, pasta sauce. And again, once a month, I may go ahead and splurge and get them some chicken or some meatballs or some sausages, you know, all vegan, of course, it's going to be higher fat and higher salt than what our plan allows for. But it's once it's going to be once a month, you know, so probably between all these splurges, like once a month, once a week, we're going to be having a splurge meal. And, you know, like I said, it's fine. It's not going to be as splurging on non-vegan stuff. It's not going to be splurging on a lot of, you know, other stuff. And I want to get to the point where this is second nature for me and whatever I'm doing, like say I'm going out, you know, say I'm going out to my friend's house or whatever for the weekend or, um, the kids aren't here. Well, you know, then I can just have, bring my sushi along, you know, and just make it like to where I don't even have to think about it. So I just wanted to come and share my plan with you guys, you know, one for accountability, uh, and two, just to share it, because I honestly think this is very workable for me. It's kind of something I've been working on for a really long time, and it does incorporate a lot of different aspects of my own needs and wants and personalities. So, you know, if you are like me, then you can make some of the changes that I make. If not, you know, obviously keep doing what works for you. But and one more thing that I wanted to talk about is so I have this plan to do you know, every hour, you know, every hour I'm eating, trying to get about 200 calories. So, you know, oops, I didn't need anything yet. It's nine o'clock. Now I'm ready for a 400 calorie meal and just kind of balance it out. 
And um, so kind of that idea that I'm going to be going for each hour is going to be doing like just a time period, just to keep track of where I'm at, just to mentally get in a habit. And again, if I skip an hour, I'm not going to feel bad, but the top of the hour, I'm going to be drinking water. And this works out because I usually wake up, you know, or later on at the top of the hour, I'll drink my water. And I find this is great because I would honestly wait till I was too hungry to drink my water. And I do this a lot. I'm too hungry. I need to drink water, but I also need food. So I'm pushing everything back and I don't want to have to do that. If I'm ready for food, I want to be able to eat food. I want to already have my, I need to get my, that water in. So I'm trying to every top of the hour, just drink about 15 ounces of water. And I find that that'll put me at about four liters at the end of the day if I do that. So again, if I skipped water last hour, if I had a bigger meal and didn't feel like eating, then I know that, okay, the top of this hour, I'm going to go ahead and have a whole 25 ounces of water or so. So, and um, basically, so start the hour, I do that. And then at the middle of the hour, I'll eat. So I tend to, again, already do this anyway. So it's just something that I'm putting into the habit. So like if I get busy doing things and, you know, say it's middle of the day, this is what usually happens is I'll be out of the kitchen. The kids are napping downstairs. I won't want to really, you know, I just don't make it a priority. I know I should eat, you know, but then I just lose track of actually how far behind I am. And then I wonder why I have a little teeny meal about four o'clock and then we go out and I'm like dying. Um, because I'm not eating enough. So I'm really submitting to that. You know, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it. You're like, oh my God, I'm eating so much. Like, how can I still not be eating enough? And like I said, that calorie restriction, if you're in the habit of doing that, it's hard to get out of that. So this is my plan to stop that. Oh, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's, it's 30 past. I need to eat. You know, how much do I need to eat? Okay, I haven't eaten for three hours. I need to have a big, big ass meal right now, you know? So, um, like I said, I'll let you guys know how it works. If you want to try any aspect of this, let me know how it works. I'm also additionally going to add in because I'm, because I have, because I do have so much freedom. I work at home and I can, you know, I can stand, I can sit, I can sit there and do squats while I'm helping kids read or whatever. Um, you know, I can take a few minutes to get on my trampoline. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing is about 15 after I'm going to work on stretching because my flexibility for my pole dancing is really, really bad right now. <laughs> I do some yoga, but, and I'm also going to try to put everything I do, every single little thing. I've been really bad about this, remembering to put it on, not my hike, but I really want to get everything down. And I think it's fun to be able to keep track of how much you're actually doing. So I was just writing down, typing in what I was, you know, jogging or running, but now I'm going to try to do everything, all the yoga, all the calisthenics, everything. So um, I'll try to do it at 15 after I'll try to remember to stretch a little bit, you know, and this is great for those times when you're busy and you're looking at the computer or you're doing bills or something and you're sitting there and you forget to move, you forget to do stuff and you get all tight and cramped and that's not good. They're showing, you know, that's not really good for your body. You want to move. So 15 past is going to be my stretching. And then I'll try to get a little bit of cardio in because about 45 after, um, because I really feel again, like, especially, you know, you don't want to sit at a desk all day. You don't even want to stand somewhere all day. You, um, you know, people in the old days to stay healthy, they didn't just like go to the gym for 30 minutes, work out really, really hard and then sit on their butt for the rest of the day. And I don't think it's healthy. So I want to just keep that heart rate up, you know, keep the energy flowing. And, um, I think just being conscious of all of this different stuff throughout the day is going to just have me into a really good habit to where I don't have to have a list or write it down even, I'll just be able to remember it. Like, did I get my water today? Did I have my water at this half hour? You know, then you can check it off and not worry about it in your mind. So again, this is my plan. I hope that um, some of you guys found it interesting. Sorry that I talk so long as usual, <laughs> but this is kind of in depth to just explain it. Like I'm eating every hour, but I'm not, I don't know. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope to see and hear lots of videos from you guys this week. And uh, don't forget to eat your fruit. Take care. Love ya. Bye.